Yeah, Chris, Chris is a dominant force, um, you know, both in the run and the pass game. We got to move on all over the field. Uh, the, there's some teams you could play that, you know, they make it a perimeter game. They make it, you know, a down the field game. They're not, you're not going to have the kind of production you want in certain games. Um, you know, I think teams have been pretty, pretty strategic. They know that we're really strong up front. They know it's going to be challenging to, um, you know, to run the ball inside. Um, you know, and, and you saw Minnesota, they were running a stretch play and we made some adjustments and, you know, games like that production for defensive linemen will go up, you know, when the teams decide to run the ball tight inside and, and involve a guy like Chris Jenkins or even Mason Graham and Kenneth and those guys. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm very confident that Chris is still one of the best defensive tackles in the country, if not the best defensive tackle in the country. I know, I know production uh, doesn't show that, but uh, eventually we're going to play a team that has to run the ball at us, and eventually we're going to play a team that has to drop back and throw the ball. And uh, we've yet to really face that. And I know our stacks, <coughs> our sack stats aren't you know what fans would want them to be, but eventually someone's going to have to throw throw the ball, you know, and and um, not play action, not you know boots and and things like that, and not seven man gap protection. They're going to have to get their skill out. And, um, and I believe we'll be ready for that when it happens. It's, it, that's a tough one. Um, you know, we, we won't know until, what, you know until Saturday what they're going to do. Um, we're preparing for a lot of things. And um, the biggest thing for us is, you know, we don't change a lot from week to week. So, you know, we just fall back on our, on our pillars, fall back on our training and, you know, more of a, you know, a, a first game of the season type mentality. Like sometimes you don't know what they're gonna run either. So you don't, it's not the first time it happens uh, in a season. So, you know, whether you call it a, you know, just training camp game where you're coming out of training camp and here's your opponent, maybe they had a new offensive coordinator and you don't know exactly what they're gonna put on the field, but you do some research and you try to piece things together. And um, I think that's what makes our defensive staff and coach men are really good is, you know, this isn't our first rodeo. This is something that, you know, we've spent a lot of time on and, um, but it is, it is, you know, it's challenging and it's going to, we'll know on Saturday what, what, what they've decided to go with, but to change an entire offense in two weeks is what I, I would think would be pretty challenging. So, but there'll be some wrinkles and things that this coordinator feels strongly about. And, and so what are those things, you know, and that's what we have to piece together.